In this video tutorial, we will show you how to process one of the items that we entered in inventory in one of the previous video tutorials. Let's say that's going to be the bottled water that we set up for selling by uh, its barcode. So we're going to basically scan the barcode of the bottled water. But please keep in mind that uh, you can also type it in manually for those rare instances where, let's say, the barcode is damaged and the scanner just can't. Uh, scan it successfully. So we'll go ahead and scan this bottle of water right now. As you can see the uh, item was placed in the sales grid right away and uh, the correct tax, uh, tax and uh, total is showing up in here. Cash is the uh, payment method that is selected by default in here. These are your uh, other payment methods. We're just going to go ahead and show you a simple sale for uh, the beginning and let's just hit tender right now not play with too many options for the first one this is the cash collection screen which um, is basically asking you how much you're collecting from the customer so it can help you out figure out the change if any and to help you work faster we will always have the correct amount filled in that needs to be collected uh, in this box however uh, in if if your customer doesn't give you the correct amount and they pay over as usually that is the case you can use any of these buttons to um, kind of like uh, quickly enter the, the bill they're giving you like let's say they're giving you a twenty dollar bill you just hit this button in here or if you just want to edit this manually of what the customer gave you you can use this numeric touchscreen uh, keypad in here or you can use your own uh, physical uh, keyboard right let's say they're giving us twenty dollar bill so we're gonna hit this button it fills in twenty for us all we need to do is hit enter or ok and we're carrying on to the next menu now this is the customer detail collection customer information collection screen and this only shows up right now because if you remember the previous um, videos we set up uh, to have the option to collect the customer info at every sale uh, of course in most restaurants this will not be the case and this is not how uh, most restaurants work so you will probably not have this as an option selected and set up and this screen will not show up whatsoever but we wanted to show you this feature anyways uh, so let's go ahead and just fill out some uh, fictional customer information and uh, it's important to note that if this was a returning customer uh, coming back to the business that was already entered in this data as soon as you would uh, fill out their first name and last name or any of their phone numbers or the email address in other words any of these unique identifiers for the customer it will just uh, the rest of the information will automatically fill in so you don't have to do too much work you don't have to you know populate the whole data over and over again um, if you ever change your mind and you ever want to skip this screen and not do it in some instances you always have a skip screen option in here right now we'll just hit submit and uh, it's informing us that the transaction is done and the change is 1839 so as soon as you hit OK in here it will print to your receipt printer 